Hey everyone, my name is Cami, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be going over my 2021 notebook lineup for next year's planners and journals. If you're anything like me, this time of the year is super exciting because you get to daydream about all the different notebooks that you're gonna be using next year for your planners and journals. And this year was a really big deal for me because I'm returning to journaling and bullet journaling after a year or two of a hiatus. I was trying to figure out the best planner system and journaling system that would work for me and I did a lot of research and testing around in the last couple months so I landed on quite a few notebooks as you can see here I'm sure some of you may already recognize what brands these are but I have a mix of different things and I want to go over them with you and maybe share my thoughts on why I decided to go with that notebook and what I plan to do with it. First, I'll unbox some of these. I have them in their original packaging, even if some of them I opened up already because I just was too excited and I couldn't wait. But after I unbox them, I will do a quick little pen and paint test so you can see how the paper holds up before I dive deeper into the features of the notebook and why I selected it and what I plan to use them for. I have a total of six notebooks that I'm going to be going over in this video, starting from the one that I'm going to use the least, the one that I'm going to spend very little time on making look nice or decorating, to the notebooks that I'm going to use all the time, the ones that you'll see on this channel, and just the ones I'm going to pretty much plan my entire life around. So starting from the very bottom, I have a Loistrom 1917 A5 dot grid notebook in the color Army Green. I wanted to use this notebook as a gardening bullet journal. And if you know anything about the Loistrom notebook, you know this is the official bullet journal that's used um, for the bullet journal system. I know they released a second edition in a black and blush pink, so I ordered myself a blush pink one. I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for, probably for 2022, but I grabbed one just in case. Um, but this is the first edition and I wanted to use this as a gardening bullet journal because I love to garden and I wanted to keep track of dates and stuff to, to do for all my plants and hopefully I can share more of my gardening stuff on this channel as well since I'm really into it. But anyways, this is, um, as I said, an A5 size. It's got an elastic band here that you can use to cover your, or keep your notebooks shut, excuse me. I noticed that it does get kind of fat. This is my old um, notebook way back in 2017 or 18, I think. Um, probably 2017, because it's been a couple years since I've used a Loistrom and bullet journal like this. But if you do things like stick any photos or scrapbook paper in it, it does get really thick. And mine's actually kind of on the thin side since it's not really, you know, crazy thick. I've seen other people with much larger notebooks. But this elastic band, I used to think was really loose. Then I realized it's kind of loose because um, this expands. So the elastic band has held up pretty well for me. I took this outside. I journaled on, tra on trips when I've traveled. So I really, think that it held up well. Inside the notebook you'll see two um, ribbons, one with a striped pattern and one with a sim just a plain color, solid color, and I used these uh, primarily to mark maybe like a calendar page and then the page that I'm on today, but honestly at some point I end up just using either only one or none at all because I was just getting really used to where I was in my pages. It also comes with these stickers which you can use to uh, um, put on top of your notebook so 
You can peel this off and place it here if you want and then write down maybe the year or you can also peel off the vertical stickers and place on the binding. And it comes with a notebook or sorry, a pocket in the back, which I used actually to put pictures or um, receipts or ticket stubs. I still have a bunch here from that year that I haven't really put into the journal because I ran out of room. Um, so maybe I'll migrate it into another notebook, but that's what I used this pocket for. I also have this um, stencil from Ink by Jing that I used all the time. This is, uh, I don't know if she still has this, but if she does, I'll link her shop below. But she uses, she uses a five millimeter docker system as well. So this is just, it lines up perfectly for the dots in the Loistrum. And the paper is a creamy colored um, paper, so it's not a bright white, which bothers some people. And it's actually the reason why I'm not using the Loistrum for my main journal this year. I don't mind it so much um, as a normal bullet journal, but since I want to try doing more artwork and lettering and just playing around with more color. I would like a bright white uh, for that reason. The pages are also numbered as well in the bottom corner, which I think is super awesome, especially if you're doing a lot of indexing, which I'm gonna be doing a lot of in a gardening journal. And the paper is actually super thin. It says here it is a 80, um, 80 gram acid free paper, so it, it holds up pretty well to a lot of mediums, but you really can't do much watercoloring in it. And I plan to do watercolor um, in the in the next year. And here are the details of the journal if you want to know a little bit more and I just don't have the time to go over it. Um, just pause here and you can see all the details or go to the link in my description to take a look at this exact notebook that I purchased. Okay, so the next notebook in my lineup, I have this br brand new company, um, The Jumping Fox Design. It is a hardcover A5 dot grid notebook, and I have never heard of this company before, but I wanted um, primarily just the color um, olive green to match the aesthetic of my other notebooks. Um, I don't much, I don't know much about this company. I'm actually having a hard time trying to talk about them, but so far their packaging is really nice. So it comes in a plastic, which I'm removing the plastic, um, beforehand cause it's just, it causes a lot of glare, but this, um, 
slip off cover is really beautiful. It's made of some sort of matte, kind of semi-glossy finish. So this actually makes a really beautiful present if you want to gift wrap it for somebody and it has a nice sturdy square shape. Um, it's got sort of a, it's a smooth and grainy cover. Um, it's not quite shiny, although the fox is a little bit metallic, if you can see it kind of glimmering. I'm gonna open this up actually to see the pages. Oh, and it's got gilded pages here on the side, which is beautiful. It's not too shiny, which is nice. I didn't really like that in um, an Archer and Olive notebook that I purchased uh, a year or so ago. So I like that it's not quite glossy, like you can, or sorry, shiny. You can barely see it shimmering. Um, so it looks like this is, um, a ivory color paper. It's not quite cream, um, but it's not white either. And the pages are numbered as well. And I believe this is also a five millimeter. Oh yeah, here you go. So it has all the, um, information here. It doesn't have the weight of the paper. So I'm gonna have to look that up and see what it is below. But again, you can just look it up in the link if you want to know more, but the paper seems pretty thick. It's not quite like the Loistrom paper. It's a little bit thicker. So it's uh, maybe 90 or 100 GSM. It comes with two ribbons here. It looks like in two different colors. The quality of the ribbon doesn't seem as nice as the Loistrom. It's actually quite thin and I can see the spraying actually over time. There's nothing to really um, stop the ends here from, from fraying. If you can see, there's no, um, I don't even know what the terminology is, but when you kind of seal the, the end or fold up the tip, um, it's probably gonna fray, but that's okay. I'm not really putting too much stock into this notebook. And it's actually, it feels super sturdy. Um, I don't know if it lays down flat. Let's find out right now. Yeah, it actually lays down super flat minus a page jumping up. I mean, you can train the page to stay down, but yeah, this is actually a pretty good notebook. So I'm gonna be using this as kind of a reflection journal. I really just wanted a journal that I'm gonna to use to really um, meditate on a certain thing. So if I'm trying to work on gratitude or if I wanted to um, think about you know, whether or not I'm being mindful enough and um, coming up with some journal prompts and have this to be a more purposeful journal and really use it as a form of um, just kind of meditation. And so I wanted a specific notebook for that instead of trying to jam it in with my daily journal, which I really just use for what I'm feeling at that moment. So that's what I'm using this notebook for. It's not gonna be really decorated. It's actually gonna just be maybe a fountain pen or just some hand, um, sorry, some brush lettering, but I'm really not gonna put too much stock into decorating since I'm really just using this for reflection.
Again, I'm going to have the details of this notebook here on the side, and if you want to know more, you can just check the link in the description box below. All right, the next notebook in the lineup is actually one that I saw on um, Serica Studio's YouTube channel. I'd never heard of this company before, but when I saw that she had um, a square dot grid notebook, um, and as beautiful as it was, I just had to get it. This is the Always Write Dot Grid Notebook in, um, um, the, by the Ferris Wheel Press Company. It is in the color Pebble Gray. And again, I already removed the um, plastic just so, to save some time. Um, but this is a 100 GSM paper, so it's a lot thicker than the Loistrum. And it comes with a in a soft cover, which I didn't think I would like so much. And I almost purchased the... Um, folio that you can uh, grab with it, but it's actually not too bad, especially for what I'm going to use it for. Um, but this is made with a vegan leather, and it also has um, 176 pages. So we're going to go into the paper here, and you can see that it's changing the color of my camera right now because it is a pure, true bright white. Um, so I really wanted um, really wanted this notebook for that reason as well and on the inside the cover is just so beautiful with this pattern the illustrations and just the design on the ferris wheel press company is just incredibly impressive so if you haven't heard of them or have any other products i suggest you try them out because the quality is just so amazing um, the spine of the book opens up pretty flat. Um, you might just have to push down quite a little bit, but it stays open, which isn't too bad. It doesn't come numbered. It has these cute little um, illustrations on the bottom right-hand corner of the page. And like I said, the paper is super thin, um, but it's really smooth. It's got kind of a matte finish, and I've already used this... Um, this notebook uh, I had purchased to to test out and in my test notebook it holds up with fountain pen pretty well and it only has one ribbon but that's okay because I'm actually just going to use this for um, actually what Serica uses it for which is content planning. Um, I saw that she used this to create really large long um, form calendars which I really really need for uh, planning my content and hopefully in the future when I launch um, my store and make products. So that's really what I'm going to focus um, this notebook on is to uh, make videos or content um, for the channel and just kind of use it to create a calendar from and play around with dates and ideas. So that's kind of what this notebook is going to be used for.
If you are purchasing this as a gift, it does come wrapped in plastic, but because it is a soft cover, it's a little bit flimsy. So if you wanted to um, have it as a gift and ship it, I wouldn't recommend doing it without maybe a uh, additional um, backing or something. But uh, yeah, this notebook is super beautiful. I can't wait to use it. And if you want to uh, know more about the details of the notebook, I'll have them on the side here. And as always, you can click the link in the description box below. This is my next notebook and it's actually a planner from the appointed company. What you're seeing it in right now is the gift box packaging. Um, it's super beautiful. It's really well done. So if you are planning to get this as a gift, I highly recommend um, selecting the gift wrap option because they do such a wonderful job that you could just mail this to the person that you're gifting it to and they would just have a really beautiful box. The decoration on the box is just beautiful, very minimal, minimalistic and sim simple. I'm going to unbox it here, which I've already opened this before, but I wanted to just re-unbox it again for your guys' um, benefit. So I, it comes with a card so you can write a greeting here. I wrote a gift to my future self. You can do this with a little smiley face. Um, I don't think they hand wrote this. Oh, they did. I think they hand wrote this, which is really awesome. It's a really personal touch. Their logo, which is beautiful tools to inspire beautiful work. They absolutely have beautiful, beautiful um, stationery. So I su suggest checking them out as well. Once you open up the paper packaging, there is um, bubble wrap here. And again, their logo is on this cute little washi tape. And you will see that the planner is wrapped in plastic. So I'm gonna put this aside real quick. Okay, so I removed the plastic sheet so I can talk a little bit more about this planner. This is the 2021 Year Task Planter from the Appointed Company in the linen cover. It is just a tad bit larger than an A5 notebook. This is my old Loistrom. And I wanted a proper planner that was dated to use for um, my business and work and just stuff that's super action driven. Um, I didn't want to have to worry about filling out any dates or calendars or anything like that. And I saw this um, planner on Furry Little Peaches YouTube video. I'll link her um, video that I saw uh, this planner in in the description box below. But she talks about um, using this system because you have the week view here on the left and then the tasks on the right with um, a section for your priorities and then a small section for notes. So I used the six month planner, which is quite a bit smaller in size as well as thickness for the month of September. And I really loved using it and not having to worry about setting up any um, dates and pages, but this is what one of the weeks looked like. I kind of went overboard with the decoration, but I really enjoyed having a section to kind of write notes down, the tasks up in here, and then the priorities that I had. And then every day I just kind of uh, moved some tasks over into the week view. So I really enjoyed using that um, layout. And so I decided to go ahead and purchase the full month. And as you can see here, they have um, uh, tabs on the side for each month, which is awesome. And they're laminated as well. So you know they're gonna last the whole year. And every time I open the page, the camera kind of goes crazy because this is a true bright white paper. And um, at the beginning of each month, you have a section for your goals. Uh, another reason why I wanted to have a planner specifically just for my work stuff is because I wanted to kind of keep it separate so I didn't um, muddle my goals for the month for my personal life with work life. Um, the font the font face is also really beautiful if you're really into the sans serif and just super minimal look. 
Um, and on top of that, I think the paper held up really well when I was using it previously. Um, I was able to use marker, fountain pen, gel pen, although there was some smearing. Um, and I didn't think I would like the spiral bound um, aspect of it, but to be honest, as a planner, it was actually really nice to be able to just kind of fold it in half and just have just my tasks in front of me or just the week view in front of me. Um, so I'm kind of digging the spiral bound um, aspect of it and this is actually made of brass so not those typical school notebook um, type spiral where it kind of bends um, very easily. This is really sturdy like it, I'm not getting much of a bend at all and I'm pushing down pretty hard with my finger. So I think this will actually do okay if you put it in your purse or your backpack or something. Since it's made of brass, it's also really, um, it's, it's gonna stand the test of time. So I highly recommend getting this planner. I also got it engraved as well. Um, these are my uh, initials since I wanted something to kind of motivate me into keeping up with this planner. Um, again, I got this in the linen cover and it this, this cover is actually really sturdy as well. It's uh, pretty thick. Uh, cardboard and the this might be waterproof I think I have to double check but I'll leave the details of the um, notebook in the side here for you to look at and that you can check out the, the link in the description box as well <laughs> Okay, moving on to my number two notebook, and this is actually pretty darn close to number one. They're almost even, um, but I wanted a actual bullet journal for my personal life. I am a new mom, and we just bought a new house, and there's just so many things to do, and I wanted a way to keep track of it all. So I purchased an Archer and Olive notebook, and um, I've had Archer and Olive before. It's just, um, I didn't really keep up with it that year because just so many things happened in my personal life that I just couldn't, I couldn't get around to it. But this year I'm going to start with a brand new notebook. And I um, actually, they come in these boxes normally, but there was one time I ordered an Archer Olive notebook, an Archer and Olive notebook as a gift and it didn't come in a box which was weird. But um, when you receive it in the box, you can definitely wrap it as a gift. It's super sturdy, it's really beautiful. Um, and if you open up the paper, you can pull the notebook out quite easily, which I couldn't do with the other notebook. And this is a white or kind of linen color cover. And this is their A5 dot grid notebook and it's 160 GSM with 160 pages. And I really liked using the Archer and Olive notebook for the very short time that I used it for um, a couple years ago, mainly because it held up pretty well with different mediums. And I will be doing some bullet journaling um, and watercolor illustrations with it. So I wanted this color to kind of match the theme that I'm going for, but also the emblem um, on the front is just gorgeous. Sorry, it's kind of wonky with that pattern there. Um, but I wanted a kind of plant theme. And if you open it up, the white is a super bright white. And oh my goodness, look at that. That is gorgeous. I didn't even know that they had such a beautiful cover. So that is a bonus. I didn't, I, I don't know why I didn't know that. Um, so that's awesome. I don't even have to decorate the inside. It's just perfect already. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put my name or something. Um, but yeah, I like the quality of the paper for watercoloring. I will be using this as my personal bullet journal. In my traveler's notebook on this channel, you would see that I'm experimenting with like washi tape and stuff. For my personal bullet journal, I won't really be doing that. I'm planning to actually illustrate all of my spreads. So I'll have like a cover page and then a monthly spread and all of my spreads will have some sort of illustration and painting. I might do paint, I might do markers, but I really want this to be more of a creative, um, outlet for me and so that's why I went with a Archer and Olive notebook for the thicker pages so that it can withstand all the different mediums that I plan to use. 
Um, Arch and Olive also come to the pen loop, which is really awesome. I remember um, wishing that the Loistrum had a pen loop when I used it as my bullet journal, so I'm really looking forward to that. And it has a pocket as well, which I, I always pretty much use um, in my notebooks. And the ribbon, which is also a double ribbon, um, they are the same color, but one has a charm at the end of it. And that is just a really nice touch. And yeah, this is just a beautiful notebook. I, pr I plan to use this as much as the number one notebook, to be honest, if not more. But I, I couldn't decide which I wanted to have for the number one spot. But if you wanted to know more about this um, notebook and um, check it out on your own, you can see the description here on the right-hand side. And as always, check the link down below. And the final notebook in the number one spot right now is a traveler's notebook in the olive color. Now, when I was doing my research for traveler's notebooks, this was the one that I wanted, but I had to um, special order this, I think from uh, either Etsy or eBay, but I, it's not available on the actual traveler's company website and I couldn't find it on Amazon. So I knew that I just had to have this one mainly because of the color, which inspired the whole color theme for all of my other notebooks. But I really love having the Traveler's Notebook system. I used to not really understand it. Um, I didn't really know why anybody want, would want to mess around with inserts and having to open it up and, you know, having to replace them. But there's something about the feeling of um, like going through the motion of undoing the notebook, opening it up, flipping through your inserts, having different types of inserts and just being able to interchange it that I really fell in love with. So I'm, I've jumped on the bandwagon now and I loved my um, little one so much that I wanted to try a full sized one, which is why I bought this and I got this off of Amazon. And while I really do like the brown, um, brown's not really my color anyway. So I was 
you know, just kind of testing it out and I wanted to see how the color looked and it's a beautiful brown, don't get me wrong, I, I love it, but um, I really was just using it to test out the size while I waited for this one to come in. And I do enjoy having this size um, for a writing experience, but not so much for tasking because I really didn't have much room to kind of do what I wanted to do when I make a list of tasks, which is why I have a couple of different notebooks for planning and um, getting those thoughts down. So again, I love the Traveler's Notebook system. I had to get the one in Olive. So that's enough of that. Of that. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. Um, I already removed the packaging or the plastic packaging just because of the glare on the camera, but it comes with this cute little um, pamphlet here, uh, which just kind of gives the um, description of the product. And uh, I love keeping these and putting them in an actual insert because it's just really nice ephemera. You're going to be removing this um, uh, band to open up the package. And this is kind of a cardboard material. So if you are planning to give this away as a gift, you could mail it. I think it would do okay if you just gift wrapped it or wrapped it a little bit. Um, but if you were just handing it over to someone, it would do perfectly well. It would stay sturdy. And inside of the cardboard, you have this cotton sleeve, uh, which holds the um, actual notebook and it protects it from um, any scratches. Oh, sorry, sorry to tease you for a bit, but there's some more stuff in here. <laughs> So it came with an extra um, rubber band in case yours breaks. And there's also this one. So you can pull this one out of the cardboard and use that as well. I'm actually gonna put this away so you guys can see a little bit better. And here it is, oh my goodness, <laughs> so exciting. I have already seen it, but it's like I'm opening it up for a second time. The color is just beautiful it's a beautiful olive green um the feeling of the leather is very similar to how the camel feels where it's kind of a little bit fuzzy i'm pretty sure that's going to go away with time which makes me kind of sad um the brown one i've noticed is a lot more smooth so i feel like that it's been worn down a little bit more probably during the production process but i just love the kind of fuzzy feeling. So I was really, really happy that the feeling of this leather was so soft. And um, I, yeah, I just love this color. Um, okay, so I'm gonna open it up to show you the inside. It comes with a regular um, blank insert, which ha already has a brown craft cover, which I, I just prefer the brown look anyway. Um, but it, I think this is Midori MD paper, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it is kind of an ivory, not quite white. So you can see that the paper isn't as bright as like the Archer and Olive. Um, even this, this paper looks a little bit whiter than, than that. Um, it comes with one bookmark strand, which you can, um, use to mark your pages or, you know, tie a little charm to. Um, I prefer to leave it out um, normally, but I might start using it for this uh, traveler's notebook. So I want to um, use this primarily for um, a scrapbook memory journal, uh, something that I've kind of uh, been doing a little bit um, in my current traveler's notebook. So I'm gonna open this back up again, which I've been doing a lot, but you'll see that I kind of journal on the right side here and then try to do my tasking on the left. I might actually just scratch all that out and make it a complete um, journaling um, scrapbook um, notebook. So I'm going to have just uh, daily or weekly, whatever I decide as far as cadence goes of what my life is like and what I've been going through, put pictures in, ticket stubs, and all that. So usually I would put that in my actual bullet journal, but I wanted this to be more of uh, a memory keeping and diary type uh, notebook. So yeah, this is the beautiful Traveler's Notebook in the olive color. I will link um, where you can find this on Etsy from a Japanese store. But again, I don't think I got it from Etsy. I think I got it from eBay, to be honest. Um, but you really, it's really hard to find this um, 
on Amazon. I couldn't find it anywhere, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'll leave the description of the product on the right-hand side below, and then links to where you can find it. But again, this might be really, really expensive um, if you are purchasing this from uh, maybe like a Japanese uh, seller. But yeah, I love this so much. And that concludes the 2021 notebook lineup. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this super long video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys really liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see what I do with my um, Archer and Olive notebook, my Traveler's notebook, as well as uh, my planner. I will be posting those videos within the next few weeks. And if you're interested in any of the other notebooks, leave me a comment below to see if um, I can set that up for you. And with that being said, um, have a happy planning and I hope you guys have a great start to your 2021 new year. Thanks for watching. Bye.